Anthony Provenzano, also known as Tony Pro, was a high-ranking member of the Genovese crime family's New Jersey faction, with significant social status and influence. Because of his position as International Brotherhood of Teamsters, president for Local 560 in Union City, New Jersey, Tommy Prumzano was well known for his associations with Jimmy Hoffa. Stay tuned for the full true story of Anthony Prumzano. Early Life Tony Prumzano was born in the Lower East Side of Manhattan on May 7, 1917, as the fourth out of six children to Sicilian immigrants Rosario and Josephine Prumzano. The little guy was Tony Provenzano. At the age of 15, he quit attending public school and began working as a helper for the HP Welch Trucking Company for $10 per week. He became a driver three years later. Tony Prunzano worked for Teamsters Local 560 in Union City, New Jersey, as a business agent from 1948 to 1958. As president from 1958 to May 1966, and as Secretary Treasurer from November 24, 1975 to June 1978. Tony Prumzano lived in Clifton, New Jersey and Hallandale, Florida. Prumzano cited the Fifth Amendment 44 times in front of a Senate racketeering committee in 1959. Early life stories and subsequent life experiences can diverge significantly. How did he become the Mafia from being an ordinary youngster? Stay with us a little while longer, and we'll tell you everything about his indictments and how they lead to his prominent Mafia image. Career In order to meet with Salvador Brigadlio, a lone shark with ties to the mob, Teamsters Local 560, Secretary Treasurer Anthony Castileo flew to upstate New York in June 1961. According to federal government claims, Castileo was killed by Brigadlio and Harold Konigsberg. Following that, Tony Provenzano's brother Sal was appointed to the trustee position formerly held by Castellito in August 1961. Brigadlio was appointed to the position of business agent in September 1961, and Tony Provenzano's other brother Nunzio was appointed to the position of business agent in February 1963. For demanding and receiving labor peace, payoffs from the Dorn Transportation Company between 1952 and 1959. Provenzano was accused of extortion on November 15, 1960, in the District of New Jersey. Tony Provenzano was convicted of extortion on July 12, 1963, and sentenced to seven years in prison. He served four and a half years from May 1966 to 1970. Tony Provenzano and Jimmy Hoffo were previously close friends, but after a rumored argument, while they were both serving time at the United States Penitentiary in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania, in the 1960s, Tony Provenzano turned against Jimmy Hoffa. Hoffa in leadership. Hoffa intended to reclaim union leadership, but was met with opposition from several mafia members. In 1973 and 1974, Hoffa asked Provenzano for help regaining his former position, but Tony Provenzano refused and allegedly threatened Hoffa by pulling out his guys and kidnapping his grandchildren. At least two of Provenzano's union opponents were assassinated, and others who spoke out against him were assaulted. Anthony's life was adapted into a movie, The Irishman. We'll later discuss how good this movie does with the representation. Hoffa was supposed to meet Tommy Prumzano and Anthony Jacallon at the Matches Red Fox restaurant in Bloomfield Township, a Detroit suburb, at 2 p.m. on July 30, 1975. Hoffa was never seen again. Jacallon and Prumzano, who denied scheduling a meeting with Hoffa, were discovered to be nowhere near the restaurant that afternoon. When Hoffa went missing, Tony Prumzano said he had been playing cards with Stephen Andretta, brother of Thomas Andretta. President Richard Nixon played golf with Tony Prumzano and IBT President Frank Fitzsimmons 10 weeks after Hoffa vanished, marking his first public appearance since resigning. A federal investigator in Detroit said on December 4, 1975, in a court proceeding presided over by James Paul Churchill, that a witness had named three New Jersey men who had taken part in the abduction and murder of James R. Hoffa. The three guys were all close friends of Tony Prumzano, Salvador Brigaglio, his brother Gabriel Brigaglio, and Thomas Andretta. 
indictment. A 2.3 million pension fund loan from the Utica Teamsters Benefit Fund was proposed to renovate the Woodstock Hotel. Provzano and Anthony Bentro were arrested on December 9, 1975, in New York's Southern District for violating the anti-kitback law. He received a four-year prison sentence in July 1978 after being found guilty of these allegations. A tennis club that was serving as a cover for a sizable mafia operation was just busted by the feds. They'll undoubtedly face racket earring charges. Tony Prumzano, Briguglio, and Konigsberg were charged with conspiracy and murder in connection with the death of Anthony Castellito in 1961 on June 23, 1976, in Ulster County, New York. On June 14, 1978, Tony Prumzano was found guilty of murder. The conspiracy to commit murder charge was dropped. A week later, in Kingston, New York, he was given a life sentence. On February 22, 1979, Tony Prumzano, Gabriel Briguglio, Stephen, and Thomas Andretta, and Ralph Palicchia were indicted on RICO charges in the C-Train Labor Peace Payoffs case in the District of New Jersey. He was convicted of these charges on May 25, 1979, and sentenced to 20 years in prison on July 10, 1979. Later in 2019, Tony Pro's life story was used in the movie The Irishman. Thanks for saving The Irishman. The Irishman. The Irishman demonstrated the power and influence that people like Bufalino, Hoffa, and Tony Provenzano possessed in the 1960s and 1970s, but events did not unfold exactly as depicted in the film. I got in trouble with the Super Soaker Mafia the other day. I had to be put in the wetness protection program. Death. Tony Provenzano died of a heart attack on December 12, 1988, at the age of 71, at the Lompoc Federal Penitentiary in Lompoc, California. He was treated for congestive heart failure a month before his death. He was laid to rest in Hackensack, New Jersey, at St. Joseph's Cemetery. His second wife, Marie Paul Mignoran Provenzano, a French Canadian, received his estate. This brings us to the video's conclusion for today and also marks the point at which you become aware that if there is a noteworthy event, Secret Buzzer will almost certainly cover it. With that out of the way, here is yet another epic. Could Anthony Provenzano be responsible for Jimmy Hoffa's disappearance? We conduct an in-depth analysis of his powerful capper John within the New Jersey faction of the Genovese crime family and what his role could have been in the disappearance and death of Jimmy Hoffa. Give the watch. We'll see you next time.